What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here. Check it out. We have the two special edition Halo controllers. That's right. We have the Master Chief controller, uh, which you may have already seen the unboxing for. And uh, then you have the Halo 5 Guardians controller, which we're about to unbox now. Uh, so here it is. Uh, this is the one of the two that I was actually the most excited about. I think it's a really cool looking controller and uh, definitely looking forward to uh, to checking it out out of the box. Um, you know, there it is. It's got kind of like a bluish kind of metallic looking D-pad. And then you've got, I think this guy's name is Locke. Um, and then Master Chief kind of staring each other down on the back here. Um, you know, you might have already seen this video, but we've got the Master Chief controller as well. And uh, there he is kind of off by himself. So, uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I already kind of cut the seal. And I sang in the last one, or I tried to. I won't do that to you again. Oh, this is sharp looking. I like it. So it's got like a very silvery uh, kind of look to it. <sighs> More disappointment. I don't know why they're taking steps back here, but this is a gorgeous controller. I really love the, the metallic blue finish. Uh, the This is metallic blue, so it's a really nice touch. Um, just a really nice looking controller. I really like it. Um, as I pointed out in the other video, as compared to the, the Lunar White, you've got the, uh, the color dots above, in this case, in the Master Chief controller. Uh, they were below. Uh, you can kind of see how they're below right there. So they're in a different place and position. Whereas on the uh, Lunar White controller, they're all kind of in the middle. Uh, it's also like that in the middle on the Forza 6 controller. Um, so I will say uh, disappointment is just like the other Master Chief, uh, the Master Chief controller. The back is like a smooth finish, whereas the Forza controller, if I can pull that one out, um, you could kind of see it's got like a uh, like a rubberized finish to it. That is awesome. It's kind of like the Squid Grips. Uh, really, really nice, and um, really it feels really good in the hand. I feel like I have a really good grip on the controller, and uh, it's unfortunate that. Uh, they have not uh, done that with these two Halo controllers. Um, but they do have the new kind of triggers. Uh, these ones are kind of like a silverish uh, to match. And I didn't show this in the Halo controller, uh, but they do both have the new 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, so uh, this, again, very sharp, nice looking controller. As far as controllers go, it might be one of the nicest ones they've released. Uh, as far as how it looks. I'm not even really a big Halo fan at all. Um, I've played them, you know, with limited success uh, over the years. But, um, yeah, I I just love these two controllers. I just wish they had that new kind of rubberized grip. Now, I mentioned in the Forza controller unboxing uh, that I have every single controller uh, that's been released. I, I sort of lied a little bit. Um, I don't have the plain white controller that came with the Sunset Overdrive. Uh, I think you can only get that one on that. But I do have the Lunar White, which is basically the same thing. So I really have no intention of getting it. What I will do, though, is I teased before. Somebody asked to see them all. And I'm actually going to throw my R2-D2 uh, 360 controller. So here they are. This is every controller that they have released other than the plain white one. Um, for the Xbox One. Um, this is just your plain basic black controller. This is the uh, Day One Edition controller. The, uh, the blue camo. Uh, you've got the Call of Duty controller. Uh, you've got that one. And this is the Forza one. Uh, you've got the Titanfall. This is the Lunar White, which this is my favorite one they've released so far, even though it's very plain. Um, it, I just love the backing to it. Uh, this is my RT or my C3PO 360 controller. This would be my favorite if it had the rubberized grip on the back. Uh, there's the Master Chief. 
and there is your basic, uh, the camo, uh, armed forces, special forces, special forces, armed forces. So, that is every Xbox One controller that I think I'm aware of. Um, I'll get the Elite one, I think, when it comes out, uh, and I'll unbox that one for you as well. But, uh, this is more so about, uh, this bad boy. I'm calling it the Guardians controller. And, uh, you know, I just wish it had that rubberized textile feel to it on the back. That would be a home run as far as I'm concerned. But it's still a sharp looking controller. I mean, that's the only thing that's missing from it. And, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we will catch you later. See ya.